Hey everyone, today I'm doing this tutorial using my bougiest products. I'm wearing all my fake diamonds in celebration of the occasion. I've gotten together all my fanciest makeup. I'm talking like Givenchy, Giorgio Armani, Victoria Beckham for Estee Lauder, Tom Ford, all the high-end stuff. I just wanted to do a full look with it and see how it came out. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial to see what products I used and how I got the look. Okay, to start out with this bougie makeup look, I'm gonna use Victoria Beckham's primer with Estee Lauder. It's got little gold pearls in it. I think they're gold. So nice. For foundation, I'm going to use Luminous Silk Foundation. I will use my Exo Beauty brush. The only thing about this foundation, you wouldn't wanna wear it too often because you can literally smell the alcohol in it and I know that that strips your skin and is no bueno. I do love this foundation though, but that's why I don't wear it much. It's so hard to like hold a brush. It's like I'm wearing armor with all these stupid rings. I'm gonna move straight onto eyes. I'm gonna use my NARS primer. I'm just gonna use my hands a lot because I wanna show off my rings. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use Tom Ford Eye Color Quad number one, Golden Mink. So, so pretty. I do wanna buy more, but it's like 90 something dollars. I think it's almost $100 for one of these palettes by Tom Ford, which is crazy. But I did it, I did it twice. I've got two of these and I do wanna expand my collection. So let's try the gold. So let's put the sparkle on the inner part. It doesn't really have a base tone. It's just gold sparkle. I think it might be the same with this one. Let's see, let's put this one here at the outer part. Yep, similar thing. I love it. I'm trying to swipe it to see how dense I can get it. That is stunning. I'm just tooting my own horn here, but I love it. I'm gonna take the brown, just a small amount, and I'll just lay it over the top there at the outer part. Oh. Oh, this is taking an unexpected turn. I did not know that this was a glossy like effect. Oof, it blends out so well too. I mean, what you'd expect. But I mean, you can get such good eyeshadows not for a hundred bucks too, don't forget. Okay, I'm just gonna diffuse it with a bigger, softer brush. This is the MAC 286, really good brush. Gonna take a Real Techniques blending brush Everything is shimmery, like all the colors in this palette are actually shimmery. So that's like not a good thing for me, although it is turning out fucking awesome, so I shouldn't complain. When it comes to eyeliner, I'm going to do Marc Jacobs Marker Pen. <gasps> there is an hour of my life I'll never get back. On to brows, Dior Brow Chalk. I haven't used this yet. It doesn't look very chalky. It looks like a regular brow pencil, but just really fat. So let's try it. I'm using the edge so I can get like a sharp line. It's a bit hard to control. And I kind of can't see where I'm putting it because it's so big. But that being said, the result is good. It's nice. I really like the color of it. But, um, I mean, the size of it makes it a little bit hard to control. So let's see if I can get the other side looking any good. All right, for concealing, I'm going to take Tom Ford Concealing Pen. It's got to come out the little hole there. Come on. There. This one's a cushion. Just going to use my foundation brush to blend that out. Okay, and for brow gel, this is the Surratt brow gel. And it's cool because it's one of those vintage style combs. And it's clear and it works really, really bomb. It's actually really good. The comb makes it very easy to direct your brow hairs. It's actually a much better design than regular brow combs or spoolies. Okay, I'm gonna do mascara and easily the bougiest mascara ever is the Hourglass Realist. I hope this is still good because I haven't used it in a while. I'm going to dip this in the primer. So 
So this is unique because it's that, that metal thing, right? Everyone's doing videos on it and I was so peeved. I didn't do a video on it because I actually got given it like six months before it was released. So this is the primer and then for mascara, you take the mascara one, you dip it in there, you swirl it around, you give it a little pump, you give it a shake, shake, shake. Going in. Oh, fuck. Honestly, this is a really good mascara and the applicator is actually good. It is a little bit harder, like you can't comb through your lashes. It's just a, it looks like a screw type thing, but you actually can get a really nice mascara effect. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, it's quite long. My lashes are quite long. Well, they look long with the product, I mean. And you can also tight line with it. Like you can push the metal part up against your lash line, which is incredible. It creates a perfect line. I'm gonna use this Dior Brightener. It's the Fix It color. This is the peachy one. I'm just gonna put it under my eye. I feel like I actually should have done this before the other concealer, but whatevs. So yeah, it look, looks like one of their lipsticks. It's got like a peach color and then there's a little moisture tube in there. So the peach will counteract dullness or gray areas or blueness. Lower lashes. These are the fanciest fake eyelashes ever. It's called Artemis. Artemis? They come like this. It's all in like velvet, little wooden boxes. It's so fancy, but the lashes are gorge. Gorge. This one's called Twice Bitten. They're really fluffy, like almost too fluffy. Can you see how fluffy these are? It's nuts. Lashes going on. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, to powder, I'm gonna take this fancy AF Prism Libre by Givenchy. I've never used it. Ooh, the stick is still on it. These are so hard to take off, it's not even satisfying. It has the prettiest sieve. Bit messy though, to be honest. It's got a few different colors in there, so you mix them and <laughs> it makes a um, mixture of the shades. So the brand Kevin Aquan is a super fancy brand. This is the sculpting powder in medium. So good. Can you see how it just looks more like a shadow? I'm gonna put it on my nose too. This is a little angle brush. Tiny amount. Mm. Love it. Now I really wanted to use this. It's so pretty. I should have kind of put it on before the foundation, but um, I want to put it on before the highlighter now, which is going to make the highlighter just look crazy. It's the Fluid Sheer by Giorgio Armani. Mm, sexual, I know. Just going to put a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. But then there's more. I'm gonna use this incredibly sexual highlighter. It is called Number Four Rose Gold Fresh Glow Highlighter by Burberry. What did we do in this world to deserve this highlighter? Human race has reached its peak. Actually, should not cry with these lashes on. Other side. No, honestly, this is so nice. And especially over the top of that Giorgio highlighter, it is just popping. Okay, I got this bronzer because um, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist uses it on her or used to use it on her. I don't know. I saw it once and I was like, well, I'm going to get that. And it's really, really good. It's called the Guerlain Terracotta Four Seasons bronzer. I have number three natural brunettes and number five brunettes. And it's got like a bunch of different shades. So you just kind of swirl them together or you can customize it depending on how tan you are. And you just pop it on because it's a bronzer. And you bronze yourself. And it smells like vintage, like a powdery um, sweet smell. And it's divine. Oh, I also have this. This is the Marc Jacobs. It's a little glittery um, mascara. It's got gold glitter in it. And I'm going to put on my lower lashes. Oh, fuck. 
It's intense. It's beautiful. And it actually comes on the same kind of wand as the Hourglass Mascara. It's just like a flat wand, but I can feel the ridges on it. So um, it's really cool, actually. I will take this Gold Toucher Lip Balm. It's got gold in it, like literal gold. It's gonna add a small amount onto my lips to prepare it for the slathering of an expensive lipstick. But before I go on to that, I've got a blush, another Givenchy product. This is actually a new product. It's called the Prism Blush in number four. Oh, that, that is scratchy. Ugh, not cool. I'll take this Sigma Duo Fiber Blush brush. For lips, I'm gonna take a red Shiseido Poppy Red. All right guys, my makeup is on. I actually have to go wash off my fake tan from the neck down and then do my hair and I'll be right back. I feel so glamorous. Without a doubt, I could get a similar result from um, more affordable products. It's not just the result for me, it's the process of putting it on because a lot of the time I do my makeup for no reason, I just do it for fun. So it's the process and that's why I really like high-end makeup a lot of the time. I of course love affordable stuff, but the experience of using high-end makeup is just... So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this look using all super high-end bougie products. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.